This is the final video that I'm making for the basic operation of Yamaha Mobile Music Sequencer on the iPad. And although we've made a song and the sounds are quite good and we can mess with um, voices and <coughs> edit voices and select voices, um, you might want to use other voices. One thing to note that this app is audio bus compatible and it supports virtual MIDI. So one thing that would be easy to do would be to route this straight into something like Cubases which is my preferred way of moving things around. Either that or use the MIDI to generate sounds in other apps through audio bus and then into the uh, the door or DAW of your choice. So let's look at a basic MMS to Cubase's setup. What you need to know is that each of these tracks, one, two, down to eight, is a MIDI channel. So that's MIDI channel one, MIDI channel two, and so on. The easiest way to set this up is to start something. I've got Cubase's running in the background. And you need to go up to this tab up the top here, and it's usually on File. You need to go to System, which then it's usually on General, and then you go to MIDI Port. Here you've got Cubasis showing up, and you want the MIDI to go out to Cubasis. That's all you have to do with Yamaha MMS. So let's have a look at what we've done in Cubasis. Here's Cubasis. I've set up the four tracks for the four instruments that I have in MMS. So I've set up a, a piano, a percussion organ for bass, analog string, and the rock kit. To set up a channel, you need to open it up, go down to MIDI connections, and you want to pick virtual MIDI, and then the channel that the instrument is on in MMS. So the piano was on channel one in M MMS, Therefore, it should be channel one uh, in Cubasis or any other app you're using. <clears throat> you don't need MIDI through or MIDI out, so you can leave those disabled. So I've set up the percussion organ, which is the bass. That's on MIDI channel two. The strings, MIDI channel three. And our drums are on MIDI channel eight. The nice thing about this is you can have different sounds, use different sounds, route different sounds in, like I said, through audio bursts using MIDI, um, and make it sound quite respectable. So if we just switch back to MMS, let's go out there, and we can start as we had last time our song, which is all there still. Uh, we go back to the beginning, we press play. What I've done in the mixer is turn these volumes all the way down. So one, two, three and eight are at zero. So you, you won't hear anything playing from MMS. Everything you'll hear will be from the instruments and they're included instruments that I've used in Cubasis. So let's start pressing play. You can hear I put some effects on the drums in Cubasis. And on the electric piano there's a chorus, so we go to electric piano, there's a chorus down there, the strings are as is, and the rock kit I've used, some send effects, a reverb and delay. So if we go to the mixer then we can bring in the bass. Like anything, you can adjust effects and uh, panning and whatever. It's quite a simple operation. So, if you wanted to record all that, set your levels, 
and <clears throat> see if I can remember how to do this now. Let's start recording. So we want to activate all tracks. I'm going to go back to the beginning and we're going to press record. Flick over to MMS. Go back to zero. Press play. Back to Cubasis. So let's stop that there and go back to Cubasis. <coughs> now, if we squeeze that in and have a quick look, you can see, obviously there's a bit of a blank there at the beginning. We can trim all these empty sections off the beginning. But if we play this now, there's the blank while we switched between the apps. And then we've got our bass and drums. Setting may need a bug fixed and sent to Cube Seinberg. And there we go, it's fairly simple. You just record the MIDI and then you can um, you can trim down the blank spaces here at the beginning set it all on time and obviously get the right tempo luckily we've got the right tempo in this project and save it as you would do normally so uh, if you've got Cubases you'll know it automatically saves so that's it really it's quite simple just uh, your MIDI connections, virtual MIDI, the channel that's in MMS fire everything up, record and the track ends up in there <coughs> Or you can go the audio bus route, uh, which is just as easy. There's plenty of people who have done tutorials on audio bus. So what I'm going to do is just show you. Close down Cubasis. Just go back to MMS. Just go <coughs> see Cubasis has gone from the MIDI channel. So if we play this now, we'll need to adjust my mixer settings. Okay, so how do we make an audio file from MMS? Best show you that one. What we need to do... <coughs> we need to go to song. <coughs> There's our song. In fact, I don't think we need to go to song. But if we go to here, go to file, user, and this is the tutorial scene. One thing we want to do is mix down. And the mix down button is on your, this kind of file page. So if we hit mix down and then we've got this mix down thing here the sync um we've got the sync on there so where is the sync on sync's on now so if i press this is right so it'll wait until we press play As you can see, the mix down happens in real time, um, which is a bit different from the way other apps deal with uh, recording audio. But it does exactly the same job, and you're not going to really bother about that once you've finished the track. So, uh, just got four more bars to go. And then 
it loops. So <clears throat> we can give this a name and we'll call this tutorial. See, we've got the loop on. So it'll just keep going around and turn that loop off. Uh, the loop feature is quite useful actually for making loops. So now let's just quickly go back to file, now go back to audio library. Okay. And here we've got this track a minute long called Tutorial. It's highlighted. There's a bit of a gap. So there we go. Then you've got your audio track. <sighs> Not too sure why the uh, <clears throat> the sync thing didn't work. Maybe you press play first. But anyway, you've got an audio track. From there, you can um, copy the audio, which is the same as audio copy, and you can drop it into other apps as an audio file, or you can send it off to SoundCloud and uh, just load it straight up. So there we go. That's how to get the audio out of <coughs> Yamaha MMS, which, about, which just about wraps up everything um, <coughs> for basic operation and getting this working. So as you can see, very simple to get things together, turn them into tracks, and then MIDI <coughs> the, uh, the patterns and sections out with the wraps or... Uh, like Cubases or something, or into something like Sunriser uh, and grab a sound and then audio bust that into Cubases or Meteor or whatever you're using. So I hope you've uh, found this useful. Uh, if there's any questions, just post them up in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching. This is Mickey Strange. Goodbye.